I've, I've been involved. I was a co-founder of a, a festival here on the Central Coast called the Five Lands Walk. And it's, um, it's a, an incredible festival. It started with a couple of hundred people in 2006. And last year we had 22,000. Wow. So it's just, it's a beautiful um, festival. It celebrates the ancient part past of this incredible land that we live on and the the aboriginal culture but it also celebrates who we are today and what connects us to country what connects us to to place and to each other so the the mantra of the the five lands walk is connecting people to people and people to place mm. and it is about walking together um, and as you walk together, you listen to each other, you tell stories, you hear each other's stories. So you, you walk from, through each of the five villages. It's a coastal walk. It's a 10 kilometer walk. Mm -hmm. And each of the five villages hosts different celebrations. There are art exhibitions, sculptures, um, there's theater, there's um, music, there's food, there's Aboriginal cultural um, talks, there's whale watching, there's, um, there's an extraordinary richness of, of multiculturalism along the way that you experience as you walk. But you walk with people and you hear things and you listen mm. and you listen to the land too. You, you, you're, sometimes you're on streets, but mostly you're in the bush or on sand. So you're hearing the sounds around you, you're listening to that too and that changes you and so does listening to the music listening to the um, cultural talks about the significance of the whale to the dark and young people um, listening to talks about bush tucker um, all of these things if you take them in change you and i must say in my in my years listening to people getting that festival together every year um, and listening to the spiritual significance of country has changed me it, it, fundamentally I think and it's it's woven its way into my work as a lawyer and a, a legal politician if you like yeah well in a sense Pauline it if you really are listening, which is about absorbing, isn't it? Listening is not about hearing, as you say. Mm -hmm. It's about letting something in and do alchemy on you. Yeah. How make you make you other. And so then, of, of course, if you allow that to happen, who you show up as in your work, the way you, the way you understand things changes, the way you express things changes so there has to be a, a kind of uh again last night i heard simon sinek said an existential flexibility you you have to be not uh, non-attached to a sense of identity and i think what i've what i've understood in my own experience and in, in in reading in conversations whether here or in other countries with first nations peoples is that you if you're disconnected with with country if you're disconnected from place you it's hard to be connected almost impossible to be connected to self as well or to other people or to other people and and i think that we've you know we've we have stopped listening for listening to country and listening to what it really tells us deeply and I think that's that's where a lot of our human problems come from. The you know the mental health issues that we were all suffering across Australia in, at higher and higher rates. There's something happening, and I think it comes from disconnection, um, where we're more connected than ever um, through through devices. And, and I think COVID nineteen has shown us that we can actually use these devices quite productively and creatively like you are with this um, with this kind of format um, we can use that to to stay connected in in a substantial way yeah. um, 
it's not quite as good as face to actual face, but face to virtual face is not too bad. Um, but we've lost something in Western society that has lost that human connection. Um, and we, we need to start listening to each other and really allowing that alchemy to happen within ourselves. We're the same, but different. Yeah. Um, we're just absorbing new, new thoughts, new ideas, new ways of seeing the world. And um, that makes us richer yeah. and it makes us closer. We start to understand each other and fear each other less. And uh, that's really important if we're going to have a peaceful world. Yeah, 100% agree. 